Take heart, daily devotions to deepen your faith. May 27th. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them, for then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Matthew chapter 6 verse 1. What might it mean to be addicted to religiosity? Religion gone bad. Ask yourself the following questions. What do you make of God? How do you relate to him and treat him? How do you then treat people? What do you do with your troubles and heartaches? How do you deal with your failures and sin? Perhaps you pray to be seen by other people. Matthew chapter 6 verses 5 through 13. Or you put a lot of stock in religious behavior but are self-deceived self-righteous and despise strugglers Luke chapter 18 verses 9 through 14 religiosity is fundamentally built around show and how you're perceived there's no sap of a living relationship in your practices we must work against religiosity whether it's addiction to religious practices to power or the love of status and reputation. In these situations, you turn God into a puppet and a whole host of human desires and fears all run amok in your heart. There is no real love, honesty, or real humility in religiosity. The core graces of the Christian life are invariably washed away. How do you address it? You begin to live out the reality of your true needs, meeting the true mercies of the living God. When you face pain, hurt, hardship, and vulnerability, look for the opportunity to meet, need, know, love, trust, and seek the living God. Instead of distracting yourself when you meet trouble, you seek to know the Lord who is with you. Psalm chapter 23 verse 4. You come to know him as a stronghold, a shelter, and a shade. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 4. You come to see how his mercies are tailor-made to exactly help, help you with what you are dealing with. <laughs>